What's the best bike to take to Bike Park Wales? Whilst there's no wrong answer to this question, we're here to bring you five delicious bikes that industry insiders have chosen to bring to Bike Park Wales' 10th birthday. Let's go. Our quest today is to find the perfect Bike Park Wales bikes by looking at what people are riding and why. Are they running big travel or short travel? Inserts or none? E-bike or half fat or non-e-bike? Clips or flats? We're here to find out. I'm here with MBUK's editor, James Costley-White. How's it going, James? All right, well. Okay, so we've got a bike here. This is what you've chosen to ride today. Tell us a bit about it. Yep, so this is uh, the Orbea Rise M Team 2023. Uh, it's my long-term bike for the magazine this year. SL e-bike, uh, smaller, lighter battery, and the motor on this is a Shimano EP801, but kind of detuned to uh, 16 newton meters of torque. And how much suspension travel has it got? 140 mil rear, 150 mil front. Okay, cool. And full 29 in front and rear? Full 29 in front and rear, yeah. Because I'm fairly tall, six foot two, 29 inch wheels make sense for me. And I like the stability over the rough stuff. And what kind of trails at Bike Park Wales do you choose to ride? So I'm not into big jumps. I like the kind of uh, the techier reds mainly and the flowier blues. And do you do anything to set your bike up perfectly for those trails? I've only had the bike a couple of weeks, so I haven't done a lot to it. Orbea are spec quite lightweight parts on this, including exo casing tyres. Mm. So in the rear, I stuck a rock stop insert just to provide a bit more protection from pinch punctures and potentially a bit of damping as well. I generally run low pressures, possibly even late teens for gentle single track, but here I will put a few more PSI in. So there'll be low twenties here. Nice, and I spotted you've got a little get out of jail free toolkit there. What, what's yeah, that consist of? Yeah, so that's just a little Syncross wrap uh, with a tuber light, I think it is, in a tube. Yeah. And a couple of MUK tire levers, of course. And on this side, you can't really see, but I've got a, a one-up pump and EDC tool. What are your favorite parts about this bike setup? Okay, so I guess the most interesting part is probably the new Shimano Dior XT Di2 shifting. So it's electronic shifting. Uh, powered by the main e-bike battery, so you haven't got a separate battery in the seat post or anywhere. Basically, it's the 12-speed version, so you can shift while you're coasting, and it'll even pick a gear for you if you want. Oh, so automatic shifting? Automatic, well, automatic when you're coasting. So if yeah. you have the 11-speed Di2, you can actually have full automatic shifting. Wow. The 12-speed, it'll only shift automatically when you're coasting. That's pretty wild. And there's a little button here on the shifter uh, that lets you switch between manual shifting and automatic shifting. That's high-tech. It is, yeah. Have you got any custom touches on this bike that you're particularly pleased with? Uh, I think the, the Crank Brothers Mallet DH pedals look pretty good in red, setting off the, the lovely colour of the frame, which you can only see in bright sunlight, so it's lucky we've got a nice sunny day today. Beautiful. All right, have a good day on the hill. Yeah, cheers, Will. I'm here with Bike Park Wales team rider Leon Rosser. How's it going, Leon? I'm good, thank you very much. How are you, Will? Very well. We're here to look at your bike, so tell us what it is. Well, I've got a Trek Slash. It's an enduro rig, and um, it's one of my main bikes that I ride the majority of my riding time. So you chose this for the park. Uh, it's 29 inch front and back. How much travel has it got? Well, it's got 160 and 160 on the back. Um, I'm running the EXT shock uh, spring. Coil shock, yeah. Coil shock, mm -hmm. yeah. And I've got the Fox 38s up front. Nice. Shima. And we've seen you've got the four pot brakes. I imagine they get a tune in. Yeah, They're just they, your basic Shimano ones, right? Just basic Shimano ones, yeah. Um, I tend to cook a lot of brakes, so basically they're nice and easy to replace. And obviously, you know, Shimano, really easy to work on service and keep them running. So. Okay, and what about tyres? What are you running on this rig? Oh, right, up front. Now, the WTB tyres are amazing. I run the Vigilante up front and the Judge on the back. The Judge on the back because it's got a really good braking edge mm. and like I feel that it's right, nice and stable, um, really predictable, like front and back tyres, and they also roll pretty fast. What yeah. types of trails do you ride here? Do you ride the steeper ones? Well, to be honest with you, I ride pretty much every trails because, you, as you know, I ride here quite often with my children. And you clipped in as well? Yeah, I run the Shimano cleat pedals um, because I just like to have that security when we're on the rough stuff. 
not only that, the pedal efficiency is br brilliant. Like, you know, I love it, it's amazing. Believe yeah. me, this guy likes to lay the power <laughs> down. Like the he power. can sprint. Yeah. What about wheels, Leon? I know you've got through more wheels than most people have had hot dinners. Yeah, well, these wheels have been amazing. They're carbon. A lot of people are skeptical about carbon, but I really like these wheels. Super fast, super strong. They're from WTB and they roll really well. And the sound of that hub. Oh, amazing. Nice. Well, have a good run today, <laughs> yeah, Leon. Yeah, nice and well. Thanks for having me. Enjoy. Cheers, enjoy your day. So we just heard from Bike Park Wales director Rowan that we can go and shoot his bike. So we're off hot footing it down a470 to the center right max i'll follow you you know where you're going right i think so it's been a while since i've hit a470 but um it's just a big motorway isn't it yeah yeah Okay, I simply cannot take the compressions anymore. This bag is killing me. Here he is, the cameraman who can. How was that with the huge bag on? You know what? It could have been a lot worse. Hey, he's still <laughs> alive, that's good. Right, should we go and see Rowan? I'm here with Rowan Sorrell, one of the directors of Bike Park Wales, and we're looking at your Trek session. Tell us about it. So it's a full downhill rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, like in the park, I ride a trail bike a lot, probably the most, but it's nice to run a downhill rig sometimes. And yeah, really, really like this bike. So you've got XTR brakes on there, so they look like an addition. You like them particularly? Yeah, yeah, I love them. Tons of power. I uh, just really like the feel on them. So yeah, that was, that was one of the things I changed early on. Um, and the shock? Yeah, and then the EXT shock. So it comes with an air shock, which it felt pretty good to be honest. I thought it was good. And then uh, obviously I know the guys at Mojo and they said like I could try one out, put this on and, and like genuinely it was a step up. So yeah, really, really do feel like it, this transforms the bike again. And how do you set up your suspension and tires? Is it stiff or soft? How do you like it? Um, I run the forks faster than the rear and I run it, I'd say not, not particularly stiff overall, like, um, yeah, probably slightly on the firmer side of what you consider standard, yeah. But more of a racer setup, so firmer at the front, softer at the back, so it sits yeah. down nicely when you yeah, and quite Yeah, and, and quite fast rebound, yeah. Because that's Rowan's background, is downhill racing, so his bike's set up for that. Yeah, mostly. If I know I'm just going to play around on the jumps, then I'll firm things up a bit. Cool. And are there any other things you've done to set up the bike for you or for the park that you're particularly proud of? Um, only other like real change from a stock bike, I suppose, is, uh, is, is personal preferences and just little touches. So I run flats and uh, I don't run lock-on grips. So these are like rubber grips just glued on, which I way prefer. Yeah, that's it really. So that's a setup a lot of the World Cup riders run, just to give you more rubber between your hand and the handlebar to make it comfortable and take out some trail buzz. Is that the yeah, idea? Yeah, yeah. More feel, I, find, I think, and um, yeah, more comfort as well. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Enjoy your laps. Cheers. Ta. I'm here with Julia, MBUK's Deputy Art Editor. Julia, what bike are you riding here today? So this is a specialised stunt jumper Evo Pro. And you are, as they say in France, petite. Very so, petite. Very indeed. petite. So you're going to tell us how you've set this bike up for your height and your requirements. So believe it or not, it's not a smaller size, it's a S2. Um, it comes as standard with 29 wheels. So I've mulleted it, so I've changed the linkage in the back wheel for just a bit more playful um, and just suits me a bit better. Second thing I had to change is the, the forks were really down for my size and my weight, so they didn't feel as comfortable to start with, I didn't feel like I was getting the most of it, so I got them serviced and they took out a few dampers and now it feels amazing. Have you got any custom parts on the bike that you're particularly proud of? 
Well, I'm keeping it pretty much as is because it's such a top spec bike that it just runs really well. So um, yeah, I haven't really tweaked too much. I obviously put um, the D DMR volt pedals, but that's about it really. Because it is looking pretty high spec. You've got carbon frame. What else you yeah. got on there that's carbon? Uh, carbon wheels as well. I think it's just like point it and name it and you'll find some and it's carbon, carbon there. Yeah, okay. And electronic shifting as well. How have you found that? Yes. Um, I think I haven't had too much faith with forgetting to, you know, charge them. So that's been quite lucky. But otherwise, yeah, it's very, it's very reactive and very comfortable to ride. So I think so far it's been a good experience. Okay. And when you come to Bike Park Wales specifically, which are your favourite trails to ride? I always look, get lost in so many trails here. Like I'm, I follow everyone, but I think there's loads of like red. So I think route maneuver is quite like, yeah. So techie reds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a bit of techie. I'm very much at the start of my jumping journey, so you know some of the jumps here are a bit big for me. Um, but yeah, no, I think starting with the flow blue and then get on the reds really. Sounds good. All right. Well, enjoy it. Have fun up there. Cheers. Yeah, so Enter the Dragon's a bit of a uh, bucket list item for me. Oh, nice. Wow, yeah. Like I was saying to you before, these two big ones, that's as far as I've ever got, and that was about three years ago. Ready. Right, no camera bag this time. Dropping it. I can't believe it. Oh, nice one, mate. I'm stoked for it. You can do it. You've done big jumps like that, and those are quite well built. So. The thing is, I ended up catching you up, and I was like, oh, uh, yeah. But then I was like, I don't want to dab. Yeah, because I know him real well. I tend to boost him, and I know exactly what you feel like. So whenever I follow Affy or I follow Joel Anderson, yeah. they're up here, and I'm like, oh, yeah. catching them up. I hate that. The yeah. first one that time, I well overshot. Yeah. I was like, you're going quite quick. <laughs> Mate, that was f***ing sick, so I love that. Floating. I'm here with Jack who heads up all the corporate bookings at Bike Park Wales. Jack, what bike have you got for us here? This is my Identity AKA. And you're missing something on the back of your bike. The shock, I'm assuming. Is yes. What you mean? So you've chosen a hardtail to ride here at Bike Park. What are your favourite trails and why have you picked a hardtail? ACDC, what's occurring, a few jumps but a bit of tech as well. A pretty spicy one, so they're the red trails. Yeah, I do like deep navigation, that's got to be one of my favourites, but I try not to ride it too often because I normally end up breaking the bike. Okay, and you've got little wheels on this bike, 27 and a half inch wheels. Yep. And uh, what are they shod in, what tyres have you picked? WTBs. Because that's what we uh, are sponsored by here at the park, so I thought I'd give them a try out. Apparently, they're good for a bit of loam, which is what I ride mostly. But when I'm uh, yeah, when I'm here, they do get ripped. But just put new ones on. Okay, and um, tell us more about your wheels. You got some special wheels on this bike. Yeah, this is my brother's Hills wheels, um, custom, hand-built carbon wheels that he sells through his shop in London. As soon as I put these on, it stiffened up the bike and absolutely transformed it. So yeah, happy with that. Some people still think I'm mad for running carbon wheels, but... Hey, if yeah. they're surviving, they're working for you. Yeah, first trail um, I went down was Rimdinger with these. Uh, and they're still here, so <laughs> they're obviously pretty good. Uh, and are there any other custom parts on the bike that you're particularly pleased with? I like my saddle, specifically for Bike Park Wales, um, with a Welsh flag. Get always asked if I'm Welsh, and I'm not Welsh, so. <laughs> but you work at Bike Park Wales. You got the specific C. <laughs> Is there anything that you do to save your knees or save your back wheel when you're riding at Bike Park Wales on the rocky stuff? Um, I have got Kushkor front and rear, purely because I always used to rim out 
Still actually do rim out quite a lot. Um, probably need to put some more air in, but I don't know. I don't know how hard I can go with the tires before I start slipping all over the place. But trial and error. So not many people bring a hardtail to bike part Wales. Uh, what do you choose for your only suspension on the front of the bike? Uh, RockShock Pike. Easy to maintain and uh, service, as per the shop tells me. <laughs> so, Fantastic. So this was all custom build? Yep, full custom build. My brother picked all the parts, which he's obviously gone all hope. And they've lasted an absolute lifetime. I mean, I think I've had most of these parts for four years now. Um, getting to the realm where I want to start upgrading everything. But the bike still does its job and everything that I want to do on it. So. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us and have a good time up on the trails. Cheers. So there you have it, how the riders who ride the park most set their bikes up for success. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, and why don't you let us know what your ideal bike setup is in the comments. I'm off for another lap. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, who's this now? Come on. Hooligans. <laughs> yeah, so. Don't worry about us, we're just trying to work, you know. More carnage, so, more carnage. Low flying Julia there.